Hey guys, I uh, figured I'd give you a tour of my toolbox. I'm a first year commercial transport mechanic and I work at a dealership. So here we go. Start off with my top box, I guess. Pretty empty, mirror, bunch of stickers, magnet, some extra toolbox liner. Uh, like I said, this box is pretty empty. Keep my lockout in there, some tape. Uh, Keep Loctites in there. Some silicone, a little bit of thread tape in here. All my receipts from the good old rape truck and my Canadian guys will recognize all this good stuff. Uh, over here, keep some miscellaneous lights, bunch of random headlamps. Love my coast headlamp, bought that off the snap-on truck. Uh, there's my air tool oiler made that at the last fleet shop I worked with and this is a band clamp some jackass decided to weld to the pipe that I had to cut off today um, got my stereo of course one speaker there one speaker there uh, good old snap-on lights up there road sign that I acquired legally uh, wire rack oh. propane torch brake clean bottle Big fucking pry bar, snap on creeper. Uh, that's a, all mounted the hutch I built. So, let's start off with the bottom box. Uh, got all my impact sockets deep and shallow from three eighths to inch and a quarter. Those are snap on. Uh, snap on wobblies from, I believe, half inch up to inch and three sixteenths. And once again, my Canadian guys will know the good old Mastercraft stuff from 3 8 to inch and a quarter. Uh, 3 8 impacts, which I got a bad habit of losing sockets, so that's kind of dwindling at the moment. Uh, 3 8 chromies, uh, Mastercraft again, a uh, little wing nut socket I made. Mastercraft quarter inch drive stuff, uh, some bigger sockets, inch 5 16 inch and three eighths inch and seven sixteenths inch and a half and we got inch and three sixteenths snap-on uh snap-on sockets for those band clamps like the one i showed you earlier uh snap-on wobbly adapter for three eighths and half inch uh some miscellaneous 12 points way in the back uh some random torques in the back oh. Got a nice long snap-on extension, goes from half inch of this end, three eighths of that end for doing doing transmissions. Got my nice big, I guess 24 inch snap-on half inch drive ratchet, love that thing. A uh, bunch of random half inch extensions back over there. Uh, got random box of extensions, drive line socket, socket for doing caging bolts that I made. Uh, a couple random 12 points. So three it's in, uh, yeah, impact extensions uh, bunch more mastercraft metric impact sockets the ones that I'm missing I either have lost or the kit didn't come with it probably lost them same with my chromies mastercraft uh, mastercraft three it's impact deep and shallow a uh, couple random well a bit of a random set of 12 points mastercraft uh, Mastercraft 3 8 chromies, deep and shallow, Mastercraft quarter inch, uh, bunch of random adapters, uh, got some hex, uh, Snap-on Waffle Plus 3 8 extension kit, absolutely fucking love that, uh, Proto quarter drive torque wrench, uh, Gray Tools 3 8 drive torque wrench, both these are click style, uh, my nice long Snap-on 3 8 ratchet, Absolutely love that fucking thing. Uh, Mastercraft half inch drive ratchet. Uh, it's gear wrench, three eighths drive. I guess you call them a gimbal ratchet. Uh, Mastercraft three eighths generic ratchet. Snap on three eighths wobbly head. Nice short guy. Mastercraft crappy little quarter inch and my nice gear wrench quarter inch, which unfortunately I broke the end of the handle off. It used to look kind of like that guy. Um, Snap-on 3 8 wobblies, standard. Snap-on half-inch hex from 5 16 up to 3 quarter, all half-inch drive. 
Um, what else we got here? A uh, bunch of random. That's a thread chaser for a. Uh, what the hell is that for? Oh, thread chaser for hubs on trucks. I got a box full of random impact driver bits and whatnot. Um, uh, snap on Allen keys. No big deal. Everybody's got those. Uh, move on to the wrench drawer. Good old Mastercraft. Bought a set. Goes from quarter inch up to an inch. Then Ultra Pro from inch and a sixteenth up to inch and a quarter. Ultra Pro from Napa. Uh, Mastercraft from eight mil to twenty four mil. A um, couple random metrics, metric wrenches off to the side. Uh, strap wrench, power fist pipe wrench, don't know what the hell this is, I found the last place I worked. Uh, small little no-name brand of stubbies, uh, random assortment of crescent wrenches. Uh, some bigger, I think that guy's a 30 mil and don't know what the hell, oh no, sorry. This guy's a 36, this guy's a 30 mil. Uh, back over here to the standard side, little generic set of uh, standard stubbies, some generic line wrenches, I think those are, what are these, those are jets, uh, a couple random offsets that I acquired over the years, this one's a blue point, um, oh it's this guy, Thorson, never heard of that shit. We've got a old school snap-on ratchet wrench from Allen's half inch and nine sixteenths. Uh, we have gear wrench, uh, flex head gear wrenches, absolutely phenomenal. Love those guys. Uh, a couple offsets that I've cut for various things, and a three quarter that I modified for doing something. Um, strap wrench. It pretty well covers that drawer. And plier drawer. Blue point filter pliers, love those. Uh, same with the hose pinch off pliers. I got two small ones and a big guy. Vice grip adjustables. Don't know quite how I feel about these. They've used an Ipex or Nipex, however the fuck you guys pronounce it. I uh, love those a lot more. These things the teeth tend to round off. So, I don't know. Big ass pair of water pump pliers, uh, filter wrenches, or filter wrench for doing the uh, fuel water separator on big trucks. Uh, some generic shitty vice grips. And all the guys with the red handles, other than this one, came in a mat kit that you know, everybody's got for like 120 bucks, or whatever the fuck you charged me for it. Uh, a couple of generic Mastercraft ones. These ones are my snap-on uh, flash cuts. Fucking love those. Uh, brake spring pliers. Love those. Um, these are, what the hell are these? Gray tools. Uh, interchangeable snap ring pliers, internal and external. They're right, but for doing transmission work, you gotta find something a little bit skinnier. These things tend to be too fat to fit in there. Um, cable style for the little spring clamps. Works alright, it was a cheapie from good old Canadian Tire. Pretty much covers that drawer. And onto my fuck shit up drawer. Not a whole lot to go over in this one. Ball peen hammer, four pound under there. Uh, what the hell is that? Four pound dead blow. Or sorry, two two pound dead blow, one and a half pound dead blow, one pound and half a pound dead blow. Kind of stacked in here, all shitty like. Uh, a little snap on dead blow ball peen, love that one. A uh, generic orange dead blow that everybody's got, rubber mallet, uh, wire brush, two by four for beating on shit. Couple of random screwdrivers I've bent as punches and picks. Uh, what else we got? I won't bother pulling these guys out, but uh, that's for driving races in and out of truck hubs. So is it that? It's a bit of a torque arm. 
off of a truck that I cut. That's just a snipe that I've got. I've got a snipe that's over here. Uh, this is a peg off an old BMX bike that works great for driving seals in and out. That's a pin for a fifth wheel that works great for driving races. A uh, big bolt that works great for driving races. A bunch of random scrapers. Hammer that I made in my shop class in like, grade 10. Uh, sc scraper, made this. This little doodad for holding on to punches. And speaking of punches, a bunch of brass punches. This is for knocking out the wedges on disc brakes on big trucks. Uh, another brass punch. Uh, another punch. Made this punch at the last place I worked. Same with this guy. And this one down here. Just a regular chisel there. A bunch of random assortments of punches and and all for some reason. A uh, bunch of shitty power fist uh, files, but for what I do, they work all right. Uh, some tiny little no name brand pry bars. Got some better ones over here. Both of this one's proto. This little lady slipper's proto. Good old gear wrench adjustable. This is the 18 inch version that I have. Nice decent sized gray one for, I typically use this one for lining up uh, cross member bolt holes. Uh, a little cheap shitty set of files for doing stuff. Uh, keyhole saw, a couple broken pipe wrenches that oddly enough fit over my wrenches so it works, works out okay. Uh, Snap-ons, it's for, well, Break, break spring pry bar, I guess you'd call it. Works out all right, it's got that end, slips over a spring. I don't know. Wouldn't buy it again, not for the 150 bucks it charged me. Um, little tiny crowbar, little slim crowbar. Don't typically use that. Uh, that pretty much covers this drawer. Oops. And onto the air tool drawer. It's kind of dwindling at the moment. Got a cheapy three quarter that I think I paid 20 bucks for. And bought it off a buddy of mine. Uh, Ingersoll Rand 3 8 Drive Air Ratchet. Love that. Uh, Snap on MG725, which was my first impact gun. Bought it used, uh, had it rebuilt. Worked for a while, then totally shit the bed again. Um, after like five months after the rebuild. Uh, snap on 3 8 this thing's a killing machine. Uh, Ingersoll Rand 22235 Typhax, half inch drive. This thing beats the ever living shit out of this all day long. So, if you're looking at an impact, go this route. Especially because it's a fuckload cheaper than that is. Uh, a couple Ingersoll die grinders, straight 90. Uh, tire inflation tool, if you will, I guess. Uh, Ingersoll ran air hammer. No fucking idea the part number on that. Uh, Blue point air vacuum. The pieces are all scattered amongst this fucking door. Uh, some nice long air hammer bits. Nice flat one, big chisel. You know, your generic ones. Uh, set of carbide burrs. These things are fucking awesome. Uh, some regular size air hammer bits. Blue point body saw. Don't quite use it anymore, but when I worked in a fleet shop, used it quite often when I was doing fiberglass work and making seals for flanges. Uh, old generic blowgun from Princess Auto. Little cheap guy, works all right. Uh, I do have a Mac quarter inch drive by ratchet, but that thing's up for repair at the moment. Uh, this is kind of a generic drawer, I guess you would guess. You can call it a uh, book full of tips and tricks and manuals and specs and a whole bunch of good shit like that. A uh, little Mastercraft tap and die set for when I fuck up. Uh, thread chasers. Uh, or sorry, thread files. 
couple of tab wrenches, a set of extractors. There we go. Set of extractors from what the hell they go for? Quarter inch up to three quarter apparently it's good for. Them. So, yeah. Typically try not to go into this drawer and if I do it's because I fucked up. Uh, Cocking gun, a bunch of interior, interior trim tools. Not that I use those a whole lot. Tire pressure sensor monitor if you will troubleshooting thing don't know where I got that but I have it apparently uh, cooling system pressure tester uh, measuring cups for when I was doing fiberglass work at the last fleet shop I worked with uh, generic drill bits Walter drill bits fucking love these uh, and here's a half inch torque wrench Made by Precision Instruments, which if you didn't know, same company that makes snap-ons, uh, half-inch drive torque wrench. So if you're looking for a torque wrench, buy these guys. Same as snap-on for quarter of the price, or not quarter, but anyway, they're cheaper. Uh, snap-on inspection cam. Oh. Bought this for bore scoping injector bores and cylinder bores. Not that I get to do that a whole lot, but better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it, I guess. And I bought that used, so it wasn't astronomically expensive. Uh, just kind of more of a junk drawer, if you will. Automotive lockout kit. Uh, some big ass wrenches, both standard and metric. Pipe wrenches, offset. This one's rigid. This one's just a regular one. Both of them are rigid, 24 inches. Uh, generic 18 inch cast iron one. Uh, hacksaw, a bunch of random hoses, a little piece of ready rod, keep a bunch of zip ties and random socket holders. Uh, jet set of half inch drive impact sockets that I just kind of keep to pick out of if I need to modify or if I lose a socket or something along those lines. Oh, uh, go up over the left hand side now. Kind of my generic, another one of my generic junk drawers, kind of keep my pens and a bunch of other little miscellaneous shit in here. Uh, nothing too interesting. Unless you like Wayne's World, then I got a cassette tape for you. Um, I'm just looking Screwdriver drawer, snap-ons obviously, uh, just flathead and fill-ups up to a, what are these? I think that's probably a number, oh fuck, I don't even know. I uh, got some generic Napa brand ones here, a couple random Robertsons in case I run into that. Uh, some performance tool, not drivers. Honestly, don't think I've ever even used these. Uh, you know, expert off the Mack truck, little ratcheting screwdriver, everything's all right. Uh, another little bit driver that came in a Mastercraft set. Some Mastercraft interchangeable bits. Uh, Mac O-ring picks. I do use these on a regular basis. I do like them. Uh, Mac actual picks. I like them, except this one was supposed to be a complete hook, and I kind of bent the ever living shit out of it. But my fault, not Max. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. My electrical troubleshooting drawer. Once again, my Canadian friends will recognize this brand. Good old Princess Auto, just my digital multimeter. Got a set of Blue Point extendable test leads. Uh, love these, although I think I buy the longer one. This is the 15 feet set. Um, Power Probe little butane torch. Love that thing, especially when I forget my lighter. You know, smokes with no lighter, so that thing comes in handy. A uh, couple vintage if you will, soldering irons that I got from my dad. A little soldering pencil, and this one's an iron. Uh, both of them are killing machines. Fucking kick ass and take names. 
uh, a snap-on little butane soldering iron works well if I have to fuck off outside and do some electrical work. Uh, Mac test light. Uh, let's see if I can open this up with one hand. Love this test light, especially because it's incandescent. So you can actually put a load on a circuit. The LED ones don't do not put a load on the circuit, and whether you have one wire or all the wires, it'll tell you you have, you know, say 12 point whatever volts. Then you go to hook a light light up to it, and the light doesn't work. So this actually puts a load on the circuit, a little load, but a load nonetheless, and actually tells you if your circuit's all right or not. And just throw that back in there. Um, Little third hand for doing small soldering stuff. Alligator clips are in here somewhere. Uh, rubber glove with my tube of dielectric grease that I forgot the cap for somewhere. Uh, snap on wire strippers, crimpers, and cutters. Absolutely love these. Way better than my channel lock ones. Uh, here, just a bunch of generic shit. Uh, a little bit of solder. Actually, this is my continuity tester that I made in high school. Uh, some little alligator clips with leads on them for flow testing circuits. And this is another snap-on gimmick, the uh, wireless test light. You you actually act as a ground, but this thing is so sensitive that... And it doesn't put any load on the circuit. So, it's just more of a gimmick than anything. Don't buy it. Waste of money. Um, a couple of kits full of random connectors. Uh, 55 watt bulb for low testing circuits. And the piece de resistance. Good old Power Probe 3. I actually bought two more Power Probe kits, sold the actual Power Probes out of them, and kept the extendable leads. So now I have probably about 50 or 60 feet of test leads jammed in here. So, just in case I gotta, you know, test lights at the end of a trailer. And kind of another unfortunate junk drawer. Got my respirator for whatever the hell. Uh, promotion getters. Little knee pads. And apparently a couple cans of Croil. Best penetrating fluid out there. Never sees. Put that shit on everything. Just a bunch of random fluids. Uh, spray paint for usually painting frames when I do a PDI. Uh, I tighten bolts. Uh, some worth uh, worth barrier cream. This is good shit. Uh, Showed it for there. Yeah, just a bunch of miscellaneous shit under here too. Uh, Eaton Road Ranger 18 speed shim kit for the counter shafts in the A section. A couple spare rad caps, hose clamps, could be a U joint or something out of a 90 zero Chev down there. Uh, another spare cap for Eaton 18 speed A section just in case you break the uh, counter shaft cap, which is common as fuck. Chasing um, bolts, everybody in my field's got a whole handful of these. A uh, bunch of caps and plugs for when you change uh, transmission oil coolers, plug off the lines, don't fucking puke shit everywhere. Uh, another thread chaser for big truck hubs. And that's about it. That's the tour of my Carol 761 Snap-on box and my little Top Proto box and a little hutch that I made. By the way, that's a mop bucket cut off. Just low enough to fit underneath depths on trucks. Uh, great way to transport your tools if you need to. Uh, it's a cat off of a Volkswagen I have for some reason. And these things for keeping a whole bunch of little random shit in. Uh, Canadian tires got them. They're cheap and work great for throwing all the random crap you don't want sitting around cluttering your toolbox. So. Uh, it's my first actual video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So let me know what you think of my box and fucking have a good one boys.